The crisis of China chips caused by the United States made many Chinese people feel powerless when they were extremely angry. However, as a return, China's photovoltaic industry even sanctioned the United States, giving the United States the feeling of an export ban. This moment caused a sensation all over the world. Today, 86% of the world's solar photovoltaic panels are produced in China, and China's patented technologies account for 64%, making it the leader in the photovoltaic industry. However, there are still many people who do not know much about the photovoltaic industry. So, what exactly did China's photovoltaic industry do to make the United States change its usual tough attitude? How did China's photovoltaic industry develop so advanced unconsciously? Hi! Welcome to AutoAge, and let's move on to today's topic. In October 2022, a rather inconspicuous piece of news appeared on the official website of the United States. At first people thought it was just a small ripple in the unbridled ocean, but the waves it set off became bigger and bigger, and finally became a huge wave. And this news is the announcement that the United States will stop imposing double reverse tariffs on Chinese photovoltaic modules. In layman's terms, if Chinese companies export photovoltaic modules to the United States, they will no longer need to bear the so-called anti-dumping duties and countervailing duties these two types of taxes originated in the United States were originally intended to protect Americans' own national industries. In the past, anti-dumping duties and countervailing duties were boulders that weighed heavily on Chinese companies, and the heavy taxes made many companies afraid to go abroad. This move by the United States is undoubtedly a blessing for Chinese companies. But the Americans did not make this decision willingly, just because their own companies are doing too badly in the field of photovoltaics. Well-known American companies such as Tesla and Facebook once wanted to get a share of the photovoltaic field, but failed to achieve good results after investing huge sums of money. Facebook even almost lost its core business. In the end, almost all American companies withdrew from the photovoltaic field. In this way, the US government was anxious. With the nuclear radiation accident in Japan and the secondary disasters caused by the oil spill accident in the Gulf of Mexico in the United States, the disadvantages of traditional energy sources on environmental pollution have been completely brought to the table. In addition, due to the long-term turmoil in the Middle East, the supply of oil has dropped sharply, and Americans can't buy it if they want to. At the same time, the photovoltaic industry is showing great vitality. Photovoltaic power generation is actually the use of some special materials to convert the solar energy irradiated on the photovoltaic panels into electrical energy. The whole process is pollution-free. You only need to wait for the sunlight to obtain inexhaustible electrical energy. The solar energy released by the sun radiates to the earth in the universe and the energy provided by the solar energy to the earth every second is equivalent to the energy released by burning 5 million tons of coal at the same time. At the same time, compared with traditional fossil energy, solar energy is widely distributed, and there is solar energy wherever it can be exposed to sunlight. In addition, photovoltaic power generation requires very little human resources. It only needs to use many workers when building photovoltaic panels, and the subsequent energy conversion links can be almost all controlled by computers. In contrast, traditional energy consumes a lot of human resources in every step from mining to transportation, and the cost is huge, which leads to the high price of traditional energy such as oil. The rapid development of China's new energy has made the United States feel a sense of crisis. In order to suppress Chinese photovoltaic companies, the United States has imposed huge tariffs. As a result, the market share of the country's photovoltaic industry has declined sharply. In fact, when the United States began to suppress China's photovoltaic industry, Chinese photovoltaic companies have already survived the most difficult time. 
As early as the 1970s, China proposed to develop the photovoltaic industry. However, the road to develop the photovoltaic industry is not easy. At that time, China was constrained by the high cost of photovoltaic panels, and the progress of various experiments was very slow. When the Americans have already used the ultra-high power power supply system, Chinese scientific researchers can only slowly explore the low power power supply system. During those arduous years, many Chinese scientific researchers stationed in the desert wasteland and stayed there for more than 10 years, or even decades. At night, the bitter cold wind swept across the scientific research camp, but none of the researchers was wearing thick clothes, because the photovoltaic industry emphasizes precision, and it is necessary to do it yourself. Most of the parts are below the millimeter level. If you wear bloated clothes, it is very likely that you will scratch something. However, under the background of Western technology blockade, the development process of China's photovoltaic industry is very slow. It was not until the 21st century that China's photovoltaic industry broke through the low power power supply system. With technological breakthroughs, large-scale photovoltaic projects are rapidly launched in China, and the development of the photovoltaic industry is in full swing. In 2012, European and American countries, which have been promoting environmental protection, suddenly began to reduce subsidies for the photovoltaic industry, and the motivation and enthusiasm of European and American photovoltaic enterprises disappeared in an instant. Chinese enterprises seized the opportunity and quickly entered the European and American markets. As of 2017, a total of 83 countries around the world have used photovoltaic generators made in China. The total installed capacity of photovoltaic power generation in China is far ahead, ranking first in the world. China's rapid progress has completely exceeded the expectations of Americans. 20 years ago, the photovoltaic industry was still a field dominated by Europeans and Americans. At that time, China did not have any silicon materials for manufacturing photovoltaic power generation panels, or international standards for the manufacture of power generation panels, and almost everything was monopolized by Europe and the United States. To everyone's surprise, China has achieved success with decades of hard work. Facing the unstoppable Chinese photovoltaic industry, the Americans had no choice but to impose tariffs, trying to keep Chinese photovoltaic companies out of the country. However, China has already mastered the core technology of the photovoltaic industry, and imposing taxes on China has caused misery to the domestic photovoltaic industry in the United States. Up to now, 86% of the world's solar photovoltaic panels are produced in China, and China's patented technology accounts for 64%, which is in an absolute dominant position. As of December 2022, solar panel batteries in China's photovoltaic industry have accounted for more than 90% of the market share, and the prospects are very promising. Photovoltaic has completely become a trump card for China to hold global energy. China's development and research in the field of science is not too early, such as chip technology, China's technological development has suffered greatly from the shortage of chips. However, China's photovoltaic industry has proved to the world such a truth, starting sooner or later is not the decisive factor, as long as you work hard, you can still achieve the world's leading level. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.